are a few of my favorite things. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you some of my current favorite things right now and things that are perfect for the holiday season. So I guess this is like my holiday favorites video. I usually film a video at the end of the year giving like a roundup of my favorite items that I've enjoyed throughout the year. But this time around, I thought I would do it a little bit earlier to give you guys some gift ideas for maybe a girlfriend in your life that might enjoy the same sort of things that I do. I have a few different categories. I'm going to be talking about some bath and beauty stuff, a couple of fashion items, some stuff around the house that I really enjoy, as well as a few kids items. And stay tuned because later on in this video, I have a notification squad giveaway to thank you guys for turning your bell button on. If you are catching this video within the first 24 hours that it goes up, you are eligible to enter. Listen in. A little bit later on in the video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to enter. Give this video a thumbs up while you're watching it. If you enjoy it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and let's get started. So I'm not claiming that all of these items are perfect to give as a gift to someone else. You might wanna gift these items to yourself. Some of these are a little bit more personal. Um, starting with this razor and shave cream. This is a Billy razor, and I have been seeing the ads on my Instagram for the Billy brand of razors for probably a year now. And I am someone who is very picky about my razors, specifically for shaving my legs. I get razor burn so easily. I have very dark, coarse hair on my legs that seems to grow as fast as I shave it. I Literally, if I sneeze in the shower, I get goosebumps and all of a sudden I have hair on my legs again. It's ridiculous. And I have tried every razor under the sun. I'm not kidding. I even tried like men's safety razors. I've tried anything from Gillette, man or woman razors. I've tried $5 Shave Club. I've done the ones, I think it's from Chic, where it's basically like a bar of soap with a razor stuck in it. I've literally tried everything. Um, but I've never been more impressed by a razor. I bought this myself. I'm not sponsored. I kind of sound like one of those Instagram ads that you're scrolling along and they're like, oh my gosh, this is the best razor I've ever used. But seriously, it is. I have never had a closer, smoother shave. And the weird thing, and I've actually seen this in some of like the comments or testimonials, is that my smooth skin, my shave, lasts uh, like two days longer when I use the Billy Razor. The first time I used this, I was like, no way. And then the third, fourth, fifth, I've been using this Billy Razor now for three or four months, I wanna say. I will never use another razor. This is all I need. It's amazing. And it's especially amazing, and I keep waving this around on the other side. It's especially amazing with the Billy Shave Cream. It has aloe vera and sage, no parabens or sulfates, no synthetic fragrances, no animal testing, which is really cool. And it just is the best thin, slippery shave lotion or cream or soap, like whatever you want to call this. This is literally the best. And so if you are going to order yourself a Billy Razor, I highly recommend getting the Duo. This a little bit goes a really long ways. I have been using this several times a week in the shower for months and I'm probably halfway through it. If you guys have been following my channel here or over on my vlogging channel, you guys have seen that I get breakouts, especially if you're following the vlogs. I think my vlogging camera is much more true to life than this camera tends to be. Um, but I have dealt with hormonal breakouts especially, but I pretty much always, like any time of the month, will have some breakout, blemish, zit, whatever word you want to call it, on my face. I've never had real like cystic acne, which I'm thankful for, but um, acne started for me when I was like 17 years old. So for the past 10 years of my life, like the 10 years of your life that you're supposed to not be getting acne anymore has been the worst for me with like pregnancy and um, just everything, postpartum and all the stuff my body has been through. I just get hormonal acne pretty bad. Until now, this is the Paula's Choice Exfoliate. This is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. It is absolutely amazing. I was a little weirded out when I used this for the first time because the formula is almost oily, which 
when I've used a toner or like a liquid exfoliator before, that hasn't been what I've experienced. And actually it's been more the opposite where it's like very drying and very astringent. But this is such a unique formula. It's actually really hard to explain. That 2% BHA exfoliates, like it's a chemical exfoliant. And I just use it on a cotton round and rub it around my face. And that helps to slough off the layer of dead skin on the top to reveal new fresh skin. And then the salicylic acid that remains actually goes into your pores and fights whatever is causing acne, like bacteria or sebum. So I actually took this before picture uh, for Curology, because I was gonna start that program. Um, it's like a customized skincare thing. And I took those pictures, sent them off, almost made my order, but stopped because within two days of using this Paula's Choice liquid exfoliant, my skin was drastically improving. And so I was like, okay, pause the whole Curology idea. If this is working, I don't wanna confuse things and wonder what is helping me, um, especially since part of my life is like sharing with you guys the products that I love. So I didn't wanna convolute the situation by combining products. I just wanted to use the one thing that I thought might be working and I was right. It was working and working beautifully. This is the second bottle that I've used. They actually sent me the first bottle. So thank you so much, Paula's Choice, for sending this to me. It's literally been life-changing and I loved it so much that I bought myself a second bottle. I have a third one as a backup. I have a little mini travel size for the trip that we're gonna be taking soon. I started out by using it only at night because I didn't know how harsh it would be on my skin. And now I use it morning and night. It can go on underneath um, makeup. It actually adds a nice glow to your face with that more like oily, hydrating sort of texture that it has. I love this so much. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is this gorgeous palette right here. This is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette. Um, textured Neutrals, I think is what it's called. Mine is a little extra textured because <laughs> My two-year-old daughter started finger painting with it. She got her hands on my palette the other day. I had it within reach and she was like, ooh, sparkles. And she started like sticking her finger in these like gorgeous, oh my gosh, these gorgeous glitter shades. So I keep trying to like repair them. Okay, first of all, just have to talk about this big honking clear as day mirror. This is beautiful. But what we're here for is the colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm not that much of an eyeshadow person. I like wearing eyeshadow and I utilize it, but a lot of the time I'll just throw whatever bronzer and blush I'm wearing into my crease and like smoke it out on my lower lash line and call it good. And I've been doing that for years and years. This palette, however, just might make me an eyeshadow person. It's absolutely beautiful. I have been using this every single day in some way, like more, more glamorous days, more like light and neutral days. I've barely made a dent. Like this will literally last me my entire life if my two-year-old doesn't destroy it first. I don't think this has ever been done before. The color story on this, how it's like the same color, but in four different textures makes putting a look together so, so easy. I am a drugstore makeup gal. Um, you guys know that Wet n Wild, I've loved a lot of their palettes. Elf has some really great palettes for super cheap, but I have been introduced to the world of like amazing quality eyeshadows. And I don't think I'll like ever need <laughs> another palette again. If Tati comes out with a volume two, I'm absolutely buying it because she has been one of the earliest YouTubers that I ever subscribed to. The only negative of this palette is that soft matte packaging. It was beautiful when I first took it out of the package when it arrived, but as soon as I started dipping my fingers in here, even like just the oil on your hands or anything from like having a little bit of makeup on your hands, it just gets all over this and it starts to look pretty worn out and gross after a while. Um, I can understand why she would choose that though because it's so popular and it's just sleek and beautiful but the outside of the palette isn't what really matters it's the inside that counts let me know if you guys would like to see like a holiday christmas new year's makeup tutorial using this palette maybe i could do like two looks in one sort of thing for a video let me know i'd be happy to film that for you guys i like filming makeup videos every once in a while because i think it's fun to get the perspective from a mom i just kind of have a different sort of viewpoint when it comes to makeup this is worth every single penny as a mom, as someone who loves makeup, or as someone who even enjoys doing makeup but on the more minimal side. 
This has everything that I could want and more. Okay, so let's talk about some clothing, fashion items, starting with this adorable t-shirt. I got this from Target, so, so cute. It's just like a classic Santa face. He looks like he could be on like a Christmas card from the 40s or the 50s. Super, super cute. Gray is my favorite color, so I love that it's on this gray background, with a little pop of red on his hat. I don't really do a lot of printed tees or patterns or anything like that, but this is like, Perfect for me, I love that so much. And it looks cute with jeans, um, under a cardigan. I wore this in my Christmas coffee recipes video. If you guys missed that, it's linked in the description box if you wanna see it. Um, but I just think it's super, super cute. And I will keep this in my wardrobe for years and years. This is one of those just like super classic pieces that isn't too like outdated because it's already outdated with that like classic Santa face. Another affordable piece that I got, I'm gonna take the hanger off of it because I just pulled it out of my closet, is this um, long sleeve swing dress. It's like their plush knit material from Old Navy. I wore this in my fall um, what I wear in a week video that I made and I have been wearing this so much. I will actually kind of wear this as like loungewear around the house. It's super comfy, but it can also be dressed up like I showed you in that video I wore like a little vest over it and some nylons and cute little black booties or little black flats. It's very versatile and I love this color. It's not too red. I don't like wearing a lot of red um, and so if I ever find something that's like a burgundy or a merlot color, it's like as close to red as I ever get and this is perfect for the holiday time. Super cozy, very affordable. I think right now Old Navy is having a sale and these are like $9. I really love these. I should pick up more. Um, they have a gray one and and then I wish that they would come out in the plush knit material for their swing dresses with like a super dark green. I think that would be really, really pretty. And last but not least in the clothing category, I'm taking them off my feet right now. You guys are probably sick of hearing about these. <laughs> But I can't talk about holiday favorites or stuff that I'm loving currently without mentioning my birdies shoes. So in my fall favorites video, you guys saw me talk about like the nude color that I have. I think it's called Latte. Um, these are the Starling shoes from Birdies brand. They have a quilted inside. They say that they are shoes that are actually slippers, like slippers that look like shoes. I wear these everywhere and um, since it's more rainy out and I don't want to get like my suede ones like water spotted or stained or anything, I've just been wearing the black ones so much. They are so comfortable. These are pretty much the only shoes that I currently wear. Right now I'm wearing them with a pair of um, ripped knee jeans and my sweater and it's an outfit, it totally works. But then with that, little dress and a pair of nylons and a little black vest, it's definitely more of a dressed up look. So these shoes literally work for any outfit I wear. I've even like walked around my house in my leggings or my like pajama pants and cleaned my house while wearing these shoes. They are so versatile, they're so well made, they stand up to anything that I'm doing. These shoes are worth every single penny. You guys know I try to keep it practical, um, like an $8 t-shirt from Target or a nine dollar swing dress from old navy um, these shoes are definitely much more expensive than that but they're worth every single penny they're the only shoes that i wear and all of my more affordable shoes are sitting in my closet collecting dust because these shoes are like all that i need they're the best love them so much Okay, on to some things for my home, stuff that I'm loving during the Christmas time. First of all, I think I may have talked about this before. Um, I am not a Young Living rep. I'm not making commission through Young Living for talking about this, um, but this is the Christmas Spirit Essential Oil Blend. This is one of those things that I've been using for years and years, and I just had to share with you guys. Um, the Christmas Spirit Blend is orange, cinnamon, and black spruce. It smells so good. I order three or four of these every year in like November. It's going right now in my little essential oil diffuser and it is the smell of Christmas to me. It is the best smell for this time. I have a Bath & Body Works candle in my guest bathroom because I feel like that's welcoming and homey for my guests who use that bathroom, especially since it's also my kid's bathroom. But I don't typically burn scented candles in my home because I am very sensitive to synthetic fragrances, but I am not sensitive to essential oils diffusing. I have yet to find an essential oil that actually 
makes me sneeze or like get congested when it's diffusing. So I love using essential oils in my home to bring a nice seasonal aroma. I don't really use essential oils as like medicinal treatments. I don't ingest them. I rarely, rarely use them on my skin, never on my kid's skin, and very rarely ever do I diffuse it in their bedrooms. Um, but this, oh my goodness, so, so good. It smells amazing, and it's actually really inexpensive when it comes to the Young Living oils. Their prices are pretty jacked up because they are an MLM. So if you can get your hands on an oil that's not as expensive, I recommend the Christmas spirit oil. This smells so, so good. Another thing that I've been loving in my home this holiday season especially is my Instant Pot. So I have had a pressure cooker in the past that I used for years and years, but it started to go downhill and little things on it were breaking. And I just finally bit the bullet and bought myself the Instant Pot brand. This is the six quart pressure cooker with a stainless steel bowl. I make everything in this from drinks, soups, I make rice in it, almost every day we make our oatmeal every morning in it. I can saute, I can pressure cook, I cook baked potatoes. I mean, there's so much that I make in this pressure cooker. In fact, I actually did a butternut squash soup recipe in my pressure cooker for you guys. I will link that video for you. I did a crock pot meal, a pressure cooker meal, and a Dutch oven meal. Um, and so many of you guys have been enjoying those recipes, which is really fun. But this instant pot pressure cooker has made a huge difference in just how I put meals together because it works so well. It functions amazingly. I love that I can put everything in it, like the oatmeal, the night before the oatmeal and, and all the other ingredients, and then set it to start early in the morning so I don't have to get up and rustle around and make oatmeal while the kids are still sleeping in the morning. So highly recommend this. There's always deals going on for Black Friday or um, as we get into Christmas or like New Year's deals. Instant Pots this time of the year go on super mega sales. So this is definitely something that would be a great gift idea either for yourself or someone else. I don't know what I would do without my Instant Pot. Honestly, I love having it. Another thing that I have loved around my house and something that I use mostly during the holiday season are these smart plugs. If you've seen other favorites videos of mine, you have seen like the other smart home things that we have around our house. We have an Amazon Echo, which we've connected to different light bulbs, different, we have a lock on our front door that is a smart lock. We now have like an Amazon Ring doorbell that is connected to it. And for the past couple of years, we've had these smart smart plugs that plug into your wall and then provide a plug to put something in like a Christmas tree that you can tell Amazon Echo, Alexa, Never mind. She heard her name. Anyway, you can tell her to turn on the Christmas tree, turn off the Christmas tree. I have these little um, Christmas trees here, which are actually my kids' bedroom Christmas trees. We plug them into smart switches or smart plugs in their bedroom, and then I can just go on the app on my phone and we'll like turn them on as a nightlight when they first go to bed and once they're asleep so that the trees don't wake them up in the middle of the night or like super early in the morning, I'll just go in and turn them off or you can set them like on a timer or on a routine. We have an indoor outdoor smart plug that works really well for like outdoor Christmas lights. You can set that on a timer. They'll, you know, turn on when it gets dark and turn off when it is the morning time. It saves you some energy bills, saves you having to go outside in the rain or the snow and find the plug and unplug it. Works really, really well. It's just a convenience, but it's awesome. It's worth every penny for us, especially since we have so many different things plugged into those smart plugs. We got a pack of four, which made it a lot cheaper and they can just be reused over and over again. Okay, so before we move on to what I am loving for my kids, I just wanted to share with you guys how to enter the Notification Squad giveaway. So if you are here within the first 24 hours, thank you so much for turning your notification bell on. If you're not here within the first 24 hours, go ahead and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss the next Notification Squad giveaway that I do. But I'm giving away one of the Tati Beauty palettes. It's going to be a brand new one. Don't worry, I have a second one. Um, out of the reach of my two-year-old. It's not gonna be the one that she finger painted in. And I'm also giving away the Christmas Spirit Essential Oil Blend just to say thank you to you guys for subscribing and for always being so supportive and amazing. All you have to do to enter is comment below with hashtag Notification Squad giveaway and let me know what one of your favorite things right now is. 
Okay, so let's talk about some favorites that I have for my kids this year, starting with these flannel sheets. I've talked about them a couple of times on my channel and like clean and decorate with me videos, but oh my goodness, these are from JCPenney and I've had flannel sheets in the past, but none as cozy as these. These are the softest, most luxurious flannel sheets. I'm jealous, actually. Weston and I, we love our flax linen sheets that we have on our bed, and we both sleep pretty hot, so flannel sheets isn't really a good option for us in our master bedroom, but for the kids, I got these for them from JCPenney, and um, as soon as I put them on their beds, they were just like laying down on them and like rolling around like a dog making his bed. It was so cute. I love the little truck prints on them, and they're super cozy and soft. I will bring these out year after year for the kids and I love having just a little touch of Christmas in their bedrooms. We actually decorated their rooms for Christmas this year with the little trees that they have, but adding just like a sheet set to the kids' bedroom decor just adds this really nice touch and my kids absolutely love it. Speaking of cozy and warm in Christmas time, I couldn't have a Christmas or like holiday favorites video without mentioning the Burt's Bees baby jammies that we get for the kids every year. Their Christmas jammies are absolutely adorable. We have snowflake jammies from last year that we're like passing on to Haley as the boys have gotten bigger. Um, and then we have a new set of like dark charcoal with white snowflakes on them for this year, as well as some gingerbread snowflakes. They're super cute and cozy, but not like heavy and sweaty and like fleecy. They're perfect for pictures. I love having them all coordinated like on Christmas morning or as we're taking like little videos and pictures throughout the Christmas season. And the Burst Bees ones specifically are so affordable compared to like Hannah Anderson or The Gap. They have the cutest prints. They're so much fun and my kids look forward to them every year. And the last thing I wanna talk about today is something else that we've been loving this holiday season, and that is Disney Plus. It's their new streaming service that you can access like all of the Disney movies ever made, pretty much, all of the old Disney shows, and they have like new features that they're coming out with. Weston and I have been enjoying the Mandalorian Star Wars show. And for the kids, it's just been so fun to be able to show them all of the old Disney movies that Weston and I grew up watching. Honestly, that my mom grew up watching. We've watched Peter Pan and Robin Hood and Alice in Wonderland and Lady and the Tramp and then the new Lady and the Tramp that they came out with, like the more live action one. They have Mickey's Christmas Carol, a bunch of the old Christmas cartoons with like uh, Goofy and Donald and Chip and Dale. It's so much fun and it's the like the service itself is actually really affordable compared to like Hulu, Netflix or Amazon or like the other subscriptions that you can pay for. So highly recommend Disney Plus, especially if you're a Disney loving family. If you're a Disney loving family, you probably already have it, but I just had to mention it because we've been loving it so, so much. Well, that is everything that I have to share with you in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the roundup of things that I love during this holiday season. I hope you guys got some gift ideas either for yourself or someone that you love. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for spending a little part of it with me here on my channel. If if you haven't done so already, I would love it so much if you would check out some of the other holiday themed videos that I have. I got clean and decorate with me videos, a coffee favorites video, what I got my kids for Christmas. I got a whole playlist going on this year and I will have that linked in the description box for you guys before you get off of YouTube for the day. Thank you for watching today's video. Merry Christmas and I'll catch you later.